In this video, you will learn how to run a modified version of the user test flow exercise. User test flow is the perfect exercise to map out and sequence all the tasks and assets in your marketing campaign. Now, this exercise is an adaptation of the user test flow exercise in the design sprint process. At AJN Smart, we've been using this version of the exercise for the past few years for all of our promotional campaigns. For example, our Black Friday sale or summer sale, where we sell our online courses at a discounted price. So this exercise helps us map out all the steps the customer needs to take to buy our product, but also map out all the tasks we need to do to achieve that. Hi, I'm Dom, Growth Marketing Lead at AJN Smart. The video you're watching right now is the final part of our marketing workshop series where you will learn how to run an entire marketing strategy workshop by yourself and boost any of your campaigns immediately. If you missed the previous videos and you want to learn every step of running a successful marketing strategy workshop, make sure you check out this playlist. Now for this exercise, you will need the following materials. You will need something to write with, we recommend Sharpies, and you will need three different colored blocks of sticky notes for each participant. And of course, you will need a flat surface as well where you can stick these things. So here's how you run this exercise. First, you will need to create a matrix. For this, we recommend taking your blue sticky notes and stick them up on the wall in a horizontal and a vertical axis. And in the horizontal axis, you need to put the steps each customer has to take to achieve the goal. And in the vertical axis, just put uh, the letters of the alphabet, depending on how many participants you have. Next, Next, explain the exercise to the participants and also give examples. So for this exercise, we recommend defining the start point and also the end point. So the start point is always how the customer knows about you, learns about you. And the end point is when the customer buys the product or the service that you're selling. So in our example, the first step would be customer sees an ad and the last step would be customer buys one of our courses. Now you as a facilitator should write these steps on a different colored sticky note. We recommend yellow and just write customer sees ad, stick it in the first step, customer buys product, stick it as the last one. And you should also tell your participants to write these steps in a way where you use customer, then a verb, and then what they do. So as I said, for example, customer buys the product or customer receives an email, customer learns about your product, customer sees an ad. Then set your timer to 10 minutes and ask each participant to sit on their own and write down the steps they think the customer needs to go through in that campaign. The exercise is done in a together alone mode, so make sure the participants don't discuss anything, don't share ideas, anything like that. And to reduce the awkwardness of a quiet room, Make sure you put on some non-distracting music. We have a playlist for this on Spotify. Once the time is up, each participant should come to the board one by one and briefly explain the steps they created. And then they should put the sticky notes on the wall as well. So once everybody's done, you should have the steps like timelines in each row for each participant. And you as the facilitator will see that because it's an interdisciplinary team with different background knowledge, these timelines will slightly differ. So your next job as the facilitator is to take all these different timelines and merge them into one single big timeline. While doing it, make sure you remove any duplicates. What you might also notice is that there are things that have to happen parallel to each other. So what you can also do is have this timeline and whatever happens parallel, then just put them next to it. So now that you have this one single timeline, it's time to map out all the tasks the team needs to do in order to cover every step in the customer journey. So here's how you do it. Ask your participants to take the third colored block of sticky notes, in our case, the pink color, set the timer to 10 minutes and tell them to write down every task they think needs to be done to cover all the steps. Now, what usually happens is that people think about themselves and start writing down tasks they have to do only. It's important to point out that this is completely normal and natural, but you should also encourage them to think about tasks outside of their responsibilities as well. Once the 10 minutes are up, ask each participant to come to the wall one by one, take their sticky notes and explain each task they wrote. As they explain it, ask them to stick it underneath the timeline. If they see that a task comes up for the second time, just tell them to stick it on top of the existing one. Once every participant is done, this exercise is completed. And now you have a timeline of all the steps a customer needs to go through in your campaign. And you also have all the tasks your team needs to carry out 
to make this project happen. And there you have it. This is the end of the marketing strategy workshop. However, there's one more important step we need to talk about. Once the workshop is wrapped up, the decider, who's usually the project manager, takes pictures or takes away all these tasks and they need to assign responsibilities to each member of the team. What we see is that most workshops fail because this part is forgotten or delayed or just not done. So what we normally do at AJN Smart is that after the workshop is concluded, the project manager transfers all these tasks and actions and puts it into a project management tool. We usually use Asana, but you can use Trello and there are tons of other ones for free out there. After this, we set some clear responsibilities and deadlines to make sure that the project actually gets done. And there you have it. Now you can run an entire marketing strategy workshop by yourself. So just as a reminder, in this video series, you learn how to select the right team for your workshop how to properly introduce a challenge to your team using the what, why, how formula, how to get inspired by other companies' solutions using the lightning demos exercise, how to sketch a concept without any drawing skills or without having to be creative with the concept sketching exercise, how to make decisions in a group without discussions using multi-layered voting, how to visualize every step and asset in your campaign using a modified version of the user test flow exercise. And finally, how to assign responsibilities to your team properly so you make sure that the outcome of the workshop gets implemented. If you have more questions about this modified version of the user test flow exercise or the marketing strategy workshop in general, please leave them in the comments below. Or you can also head over to our free facilitation community and ask your fellow facilitators for more insights. The link to the community is in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and want to boost your facilitation and workshopping skills, make sure you check out the playlist that's on the screen right now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.